Now in this video, we're going to prep everything we need before we code um, the connection to the cloud and back in Thunkable. So to do that, we need a couple of things. We need a we need a spreadsheet to put the information in, and we need to have our account set up within this case Sheets DB. Okay, so here I am. I'm in my greenhouse monitor spreadsheet. This is Google Sheets. And I want to label my columns as the data I want to take in. And then as we're adding to the database, that is what is going to create these rows. So I wanted a low, I wanted a high, I wanted a date stamp, and I wanted a place to put my notes. So those are my columns right there. Now, the only other thing I need to do in here is to come up to share because I need to make this available. Um, and it could be anyone with the link on the internet uh, can view this. We actually need to make it an editor because um, there, we're going to actually be adding to it. Okay, so here I am. Um, I am going to copy my link. I'm just going to save it somewhere and have it on my clipboard there so that when I get set up with Sheets DB, they're going to ask for that information. So here I am on the home page of Sheet DB. And there's a couple uh, different APIs like this, but I like this one. I like its price plan. Um, and and so here, here's where I'm going to start. So we come, I need you to log in um, with a Google account. Now, it also needs to be the same Google account that you created the spreadsheet in. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to log in. And here I am. Okay. Now I've already been testing this, so I have that here, but I'm going to show you all you have to do to get going is you're going to create a new one. Uh, you're going to, here is where uh, you want to paste that, uh, that Google Sheets uh, sharing link, and then you hit this button, create API. And bam, here we are. Now it has the same name because it has the same, um, the same, the same name of the Google Sheet, okay? And so I can come here, I can go to my API view, and okay, so I can edit the settings here. And these are the things that you can do with it, right? Now, I want, creating tabs, I want it to be able to post, um, I want it to create and delete. Okay, so it's not going to create a whole new tab or do anything like that. And I can also come on here and have it do auth uh, authentic uh, basic authentication, but that's if I wanted to sign in and out, all of that. I don't need that. I really need it to read, search, create, update, and delete. Okay, so if I didn't want anything deleted, I could undo that, but I'm going to keep my options open. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save my API. And um, so you can always see a few things. You can see in here, there's the settings. And if I come down here, this is my documentation. Okay, so here's my documentation that we reviewed this before. Um, this is everything I need to know about Sheets DB. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be posting. I'm going to be creating a row. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, and so it is telling me all about it here. And it is showing me that with this information right here, I can send to my to my data to my database. Okay, so I'm going to copy this information because this is how I'm going to model the data that I send. And I'm going to cover what all this means in our next video.